I said, where you going, dude? To get some milk and cookies. Yo. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. You changed colors. You're all uh, with salmon and stuff, man. Salmon? Isn't this like peach? Peach? Whatever, yo. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm like a dog. I'm colorblind. How you been, man? Man, I've been tired as hell. But it's all good. That's daddy business. Yes, it is. Yeah. Like, check that. Check out a dad that's not tired. That means he's not taking care of his kids. He's not doing his job. <laughs> or, or or his wife does way too much. Yeah. So, yeah. it is what it is, man. Yeah. Shout out to all the strong moms out there. Shout out to the, to the dads, too, that take shout care of their Shout out to the dads, too. But, yeah. yo. I missed you, bro. You know. I miss you, too. <laughs> it's been a minute. But for those who have not seen us for a while, welcome to Our Thoughts, Your Thoughts. A show where we talk about the things you want to talk about. And the things you don't want to talk about. Yeah. So there's been a lot going on in the world recently. Sports world, world world, that we that we have to give our opinion on. Yeah, we definitely need to know what you think about too, right? Absolutely, absolutely. But before that... Um, we we need to get a dessert because that's our shtick. Yeah, yeah, that's our shtick. So while that's the thing, that's the glue that keeps us together. That is the glue <laughs> that keeps us together. You know, fat yo, fat guys unite, yo. Yo, that's how we indeed, roll. indeed. But 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 while while that's happening, um, what's your song of the week? Okay, my song of the week. You're gonna be like, you said it before, <laughs> but I I heard it, I heard it again, and it just. It's like I haven't heard the song in such a long time. Yeah. It just brought me in a in, in a special place in my mind. Okay. Um, nope. ooh, ooh. What is that? What are those? What would you do for a Klondike bar? What would you do for a Klondike bar? What's the flavor of these? Uh, I think it's just the... Ah, oh, you're, you're crunching the top of them, Rob. Come on. No, it was a piece of ice, man. No, you're, but you're still... I didn't crunch oh anything. God. Okay, that one's mine, okay? If it's you're going to complain. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. But those are... Those are... Uh, they're just regular Klondike bars, but they have uh, crunchy chocolate covered because there's Rice Krispies in the chocolate. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You know what's what, my least favorite flavor of ice cream? What? Is like mint chocolate. I looked at it and I vomited in my mouth a little bit when I was at the store. I was like, "Who does that?" You know what? I, I shouldn't hate on it too much because mint, some uh, like a hint of mint is good. But when it's like overwhelming, I'm like, "Nah, yeah, nah, I can't do it. Yeah. Can't do it." I I always make the mistake of getting mint because my favorite flavor is um, pistachio, and they're mm, the same okay. color. Okay, cool. They're packaged like lime, uh, I mean, light lime green. Nice. So it always gets me. And it's like, I, I can't understand how someone can eat toothpaste as ice cream. <laughs> that's what it tastes like to me. Uh, can I get some Crest flavored ice cream, please? <laughs> uh, that's disgusting, sir. We have Arm & Hammer. Yeah. Ooh. But but you know which flavor um, that's growing on me that I wouldn't touch growing up? Mm. It's lavender. Lavender. Yeah, like I like lavender. Like the everything. Like the flower. Like the soap. <laughs> but isn't the soap based on the flower? Exactly. Now? So you're eating flowers now. It's delicious. But you're eating a flower. Yo, when you're uh, when you're going down on your wife, what do you think you're eating? Holy crap! All right. <laughs> wow, that took a turn. Hey, hey, that's a good turn. You seem like you know because we haven't been on this show for like. Two, three weeks, you're getting some stuff off your chest. <laughs> Mr. Big Chest. Oh, man. Anyway, you were telling us the story of what of what? what what song you're vibing to right now. Oh, yeah. Um. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Work, the original by Aesop Ferg. Not the remix. Okay. Yeah. Like, um, it's, it's such a hardcore song. And it's just, the beat is crazy. The... the <laughs> The lyrics are crazy. The hook is crazy. Mm -hmm. It just puts me in, in the mindset that I just want to work. Okay. Yeah. Fair, fair. fair. Uh, I'm vibing to this song by Lizzo. Lizzo. Yeah. Lizzo called Truth Hurts. Love that song. Yo, Lizzo, I just love her self-confidence and her vibe. It's so positive. And she can sing her booty off. She's just she's just good. She just looks like a walking ray of sunshine, and I love that song. 
basically just saying like, I'm that chick, you fucked up. But says it like in a fun way. It's like someone giving you the finger but with a smile. I think, I think I heard that song. It's a really good song. I think I heard it. It's really, really good song. You know, well, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. Thoughts on this guy, Little Nas X. That song that he has. Have you heard the song? Old Town Road or Rodeo? There's another one? Well, I heard the album, and there's actually another song that's pretty good. And it's with Cardi B. So he... he Th- did- that shows how long we've been away, because this Old Town Road <laughs> song has been around for, like, at least, like, three months. It's old? It's pretty old. Dude, I was in Hawaii a week ago. Mm-hmm. It was on every station, on rotation, every five minutes. It was crazy. Like, you can't go without hearing the song. What I love... Is that that song literally cost him a few hundred bucks to make, and he's going to be loaded from that song. So, what are your thoughts on him coming out of the closet so quickly? What do you mean coming out of the closet? Oh, oh, you didn't hear. So he was in England somewhere Mm -hmm. and and, um, and, um, performing, Mm -hmm. and he said that the crowd touched him so much. Touch him, uh, touch his heart so much mm-hmm. that he just had to come out out of the closet and yeah. and and proclaim that he is uh, he he is LGBTQ. Okay. And that, but however, he doesn't want to be a poster child or a role model for okay. for that community. All right, that's that's his business. That's fine. If, if you're doing something, that you're entertaining people. Man, I don't know how many Sam Smith songs I know by heart. Sam Smith is gay. What? You didn't get the memo? <laughs> Shoot. Yo, you didn't... From the first time... Hello, I'm Sam Smith. And I'm from England. Or something, or whatever. Are you saying that all Englishmen are gay? Absolutely not. George Michael's not gay. Oh, man. No, no wait. That, wait, that's wrong. Anthony Joshua isn't gay. Right? Is he? No, I don't know. Doesn't matter. I don't get your sarcasm. So I, I'm not. Sure. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm just throwing names out there. I don't know. Well, and George that, Michael's Greek. Actually, he's not. He's not. Well, did he grow up Greek or grew? He grew up English. I don't know, man. Check Wikipedia. Hmm. Dude, you're gonna get a lot of in- Englishmen mad at you, man. I didn't say all Englishmen are gay. The broad comparisons, man. Anyways, so. What do you think that's going to do for his career? For Lil Nas X's career for coming out so early? Do ah. you think it matters? If it's catchy, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. We could separate R. Kelly from the art, right? So if someone has an issue with his sexuality, we can separate the art. I personally don't care, but if someone has an issue with it, don't sing Old Town Road anymore. But it's catchy as hell, so yeah, it's gonna go bust it like very, very soon. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a one, it's a, it's a hit, but it's gonna go. But anyway, speaking of hits, hits, <laughs> yo, how hard of a hit did Kawhi Leonard give to the Lakers and the Raptors by signing with the Clippers? I think it's a harder hit. To the Lakers than the Raptors. Agreed. I think the rap he gave the Raptors a championship, mm-hmm. right? And Lakers was trying to buy a championship, mm-hmm. and it didn't happen. Yeah. And um, however, he was very close to signing with them. Mm-hmm. I heard that he tried to recruit uh, Durant to go with him. Crazy. Listen. There's so many metaphors I could use here, but I'm going to use two, okay? <laughs> I thought you were going to say I'm not going to use any. Nope, I'm going to use two. Number one, Kawhi Leonard is Thanos, hmm. okay? Why is he Thanos? Because all he did was this, and he restored balance in the NBA. There's no more three. There's no more big threes. Hmm. Because of him, there's no more big threes, Right? Because everybody was recruiting him. He, there's no more big threes. Now, on top of that, okay, on top of that, he's Kaiser Soze. 
What do I mean by Kaiser Soze? Right? Oh, there's rumblings that, he, there, you know, he's soul-searching and he, want, he may want to go to the Lakers and blah, blah, blah. Dude, he met Paul George the same day that he met the Lakers. Hmm. To recruit him, to play with him with the Clippers. He was playing chess while everyone was playing checkers, man. He rearranged his schedule. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go meet the Lakers. The Lakers paid for his flight. They paid for his meals. They made a pitch. That's like meeting a girl online. She happens to be in the city of the other girl online that you really want to mess with. Oh, that's... that's let her... She, you let the other girl who has more money buy the plane ticket, buy your food, and actually give her hope that you might actually link up with her, but all along you were going to link up with the next chick. Yeah. If you if you put it that way, that's kind of harsh, man. But it's true. And the harsh. thing is, he's he, from. they said from the beginning, he didn't want to play with LeBron and make like such a dominant team. He's a competitor. Yeah. He's a competitor. Yeah. That's why, at the same time, this whole situation, to me, tarnishes LeBron. Because, listen, the championships you have right now, LeBron, you had, with Cleveland when you won, you had Kevin Love and you had Kyrie. Which okay? year? Which year? I, I don't remember it. I don't care. Well, it, the, okay, it the matters. year that Kyrie made the three point to win the game, not okay, LeBron. But what about the year okay. that um, went Miami? Th- those guys weren't doing so well. They didn't win the championship. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Then in Miami, in on what other on, in what other sports where drafts are are part of the sport? Would you ever have it from one draft class, the first pick overall, the fourth pick overall, and the fifth pick overall on the same team? Yeah, but that's economics, man. It but it doesn't matter. So it's so it's but that's and you have like one of the greatest sharpshooters of all time in Ray Allen. So I he's yo he's a boss. I get it. But for the fact that you you got Anthony Davis, who's a top I don't know top ten player in the league, and then for you to go to try and recruit Kawhi, like that but means. Wh- but why not though? Why not try to do that? Be a and, co- and be even, a competitor. But even if he doesn't get Kawhi. He still has Anthony Davis, mm-hmm. right? It doesn't mean that it's over for, for, for the Lakers. The Lakers, as soon as he got Anthony Davis, word around town was the Lakers are favored to win the, uh, the the West. Just like Kawhi was favored to not go to the Clippers? Yeah. Analysts, yo, analysts are boo-boo, yo. Yeah, because you still have to play the game. But they keep us entertained. Yeah, they right? keep us entertained. But I, I think that... They they made a play. They just said, "Hey, look over here." When they were making moves to go here, I think that they're they're his camp and his uncle Dennis geniuses. Yeah, like but you have to give him props, and I respect everything he does. Mm-hmm. I think Tor- Toronto owes Kawhi more than Kawhi owes Toronto. Of course, like uh, Toronto had one of their best years in the city, not just basketball ever. Like tourism, you mean tourism, you know, all 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 of that. Mm-hmm. Um, he helped bring this hope that wasn't there before, right? We always did well, but we always knew that we weren't going to finish well. And this in this situation, we finished great. Why are you, why are you shooting down Demar Derozan right now? Anyways, <laughs> who's talking about Demar? I'm not. I'm just saying in general, mm-hmm. he brought hope to the city. Shots fired. He brought he brought hope to the city. I thought the Maple Leafs brought hope to the city. <laughs> Well, Maple's haven't won anything in years. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but the the only drawback to Toronto, now they, I feel like they kind of have to rethink their whole thing. Even though only only two players are gone, Danny Green and Kawhi. Everybody else is basically the same. Yeah, but I think, I think Masai Wajiri... Like he's he's a legit GM and he knows what, and he knows what he's talking about. So I think that even if they lost out on Kawhi, not next summer but the summer after, there is going to be a lot of free agents and Toronto's going to have a lot of money to spend. They're going to lock up. They have to lock up Siakam because he's going to be a star. That kid's going to yeah. be a star. He's only in his third year. And then after that, you have guys that are going to be free agents like Donovan Mitchell, uh, Giannis. Giannis. And he's and don't forget it. Wajiri and Giannis are like this, huh? Like, if Giannis comes, we win. But, however... As long as Kawhi doesn't cover him? Kyle Lowry is older now. He, he's probably going to retire soon. Yeah. He's 35? Like, if, they don't, if they don't go far this season, he mm-hmm. may not stay that long. Yeah. But they need to replace 
on uh, like a second key player like like Lari. They need to replace him. Yeah. Well, they have Van Vliet. Van Vliet is good, mm-hmm. but he's coming off the bench. Yeah, but, but that but remember J- James Harden came off the bench at one point. So at maybe, one, maybe at one point. So but, maybe he just needs a starting role, a starting role. I guess. Who but, knows? But he I, got he got a vote to be NBA Finals MVP. He did. Yeah. Yeah, he did well. However, I feel like they need that consistency. They need someone in that leadership role. That's an all star that can that can do it. Fair, you know they need a Fair. second. Just the same way that LeBron has AD now, mm-hmm. um, Kawhi has uh, Paul George. Mm-hmm. Um, they need they need a, a second superstar to, to make it work, and I wouldn't be surprised if they go that way uh, in the future. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, moving. Well, we're still on sports, but okay. You- hold, hold the thought. Hold the thought. Let me just check it. Okay, go, go, okay. Go. <laughs> Jeez, Yo, yo, let me just check it. Remember, we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it out. We're still good. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So this weekend, uh, you and I were lucky enough to witness the quickest knockout in UFC history. Yeah. Where Jorge Masvidal. Cuban Jesus, Cuban, yo, Immortal Technique on Joe Rogan's uh, IG said, uh, "Correction, Peruvian, Ooh. Peruvian Jesus." Anyway, call him what you will. He knocked Ben Askren clean out. Yeah. So thinking about that, I was like, right away, I was like, "That's the worst knockout I've ever seen." Because I've never seen anyone go that stiff. No, he looked dead. Yeah, I, looked I've dead. never seen anyone go that stiff. He's we, fine, though, which is amazing. We watched it together, and, and some of the guests, uh, some of the people we watched it with said, he looks like he's dead, and I believe them. Yeah. Yeah. And, but the best part about the knockout. Was the celebration afterwards? The celebration <laughs> of Jorge falling. Oh! Yeah, going stiff <laughs> and just dropping. <laughs> but you know what? I've been watching a lot of like his, his posts. Uh, post fight interviews and what he said at the press conference and what he said was true he's like man dudes dudes could say a bunch of stuff online could say anything during press conferences but they don't realize they might run into the a bad mofo who does not take that because essentially is that not exactly what happened with conor mcgregor yeah he was talking 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 and then he ran into a, a, a a russian who does not mess around and he's like, okay, you want to talk business? Let's talk business. Yeah. And then he tried to rip the dude's jaw off. Yeah. Right? So you just, you anyway, you sometimes you just run into the wrong person. But my question to you was, is, is that the worst knockout you've ever seen? Let, let's say across sports. Like sometimes people get knocked out playing football. People get knocked out in boxing. All those different things. Is that the worst knockout you've ever seen? It's probably one of the, one of the worst ones. Because I really thought the guy was dead. Like, I started imagining all sorts of things. Yeah. But the worst knockout was Michael Venom Page caving in Cyborg Santos's cranium. Skull. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That, that was, was... That was pretty bad. Like, it went... Bow, and the guy just dropped and went and held his head. Ah! Like, how like do his you head react? Was on fire. Yeah! Well, his head was broken. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, like man. like cracked eggs. It oh. looked like cracked eggs. <laughs> <laughs> like if you see, if you ever see the X ray for it, it's I've bad. seen it. It's, the 3D X ray was bad. Dude was walking around with a big dent, like a huge dent on his call. Oh. That was really that guy's never going through an airport security without beeping. <sighs> yeah, ever. But I do think Ben Askren deserved it. He said he deserved it. Yeah, like <laughs> in terms of uh uh. Uh, knockouts that was most deserved that was like you know it was yeah, coming to yeah. him he had but he on had the s- but on the same card Rockhold took one too he has a broken yeah. jaw huh? Rockhold the guy broke his jaw that's good like I don't <laughs> like him I, I don't I don't, I don't <laughs> like Rockhold like he but he brings that out of people yeah I saw him on Millionaire Matchmaker and um he was just like not a good dude. He's a model in real life too. Huh? Well, real life, like real like life. UFC's not real life, but his secondary job, he's an actual model for like Ralph Lauren or something. But this guy's like a real Chubuda. Yeah, 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 so yeah like yeah. just he's, not... he's a douchebag, man. Oh man, like the 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 real thing. So, what's the worst knockout you've ever seen? The worst knockout I've ever seen. Actually, you know what? Um, one of the that was I think probably the worst. But one of the really bad ones I saw was um, in hockey. 
when the New Jersey Devils were playing the Mighty Ducks. And the New Jersey Devils had a defenseman named Scott Stevens. Scott Stevens is the one, like, he ended, like, Eric Lindros' career. Like, all those dudes. If you cut across the middle with your head down, you were going to get cold cocked. He was going to find you. And it was going to be legal and clean. I remember he hit Paul Correa once. And Paul Correa is way smaller than him. He, dude, he hit that dude. Paul Correa was like this on the ice. Wasn't moving. And then, like, a few seconds went by and you just saw him go, <laughs> like he came back to life I was like That's he, crazy Yo that dude just needed resuscitation Like that's 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 bad And the thing is on, Hockey is pretty bad too Because there's so much velocity involved Yeah But man yeah, those, those probably nice. That was pretty bad too That was pretty bad And I've seen a lot of bad ones in football Like dudes cutting across the middle But that yeah. was bad Just because of the visual Of seeing him not almost not breathing it's like his brain didn't know what to do yeah and then it kicked in and it's like yeah Blacked you should probably out. breathe right now but that was pretty bad but some of some of my favorite knockouts mm -hmm. or like most violent knockouts to me happen in, in boxing mm -hmm. but they're not headshots body shots yeah you know when somebody gets goes low and goes pow to your to your ribs yeah. and and you see them just go down yeah but in pain yeah, yeah. it's like they just <gasps> <laughs> you know like that those those are bad man uh, uh, those punches are bad too because when there's a delayed reaction when they yeah. hit them and then they take two steps and then and, then, and then their body goes mm -mm, and, and then they're they just like, they're like what's that what's that and then they just go down like they don't know what just happened yeah those, those are bad too those are pretty bad too those are pretty bad too but speaking of that uh card honestly i th i thought john jones lost that fight I thought it was really close. Like, it was really close. Yeah. Like, I, I do... Th I, I'm giving the edge to... Uh, to I, the I still guy. don't understand why he didn't take him down. The guy was on one leg. But he was on one leg, too. Fair. He ate all... Yeah, but he ate all those kicks early, and he... Like, his legs got worse as the fight went on, and the other guy, like, pretty much injured his leg. But apparently he had surgery before the fight, and just nobody knew. Oh, snap. So, Good. That makes me give him even more points. Because oh, yeah. it's all about the fight. Oh, he yeah. wanted to be there. He wasn't going to miss it for anybody. But Brazilians are built differently. That's why. He, well, coming from the favelas, man, you got to be. He's, well, he said it. He's like, I'm just a kid from the city of God. Yeah. yeah you know? That end. was dope. Yeah. That was dope. But John Jones couldn't walk out of the ring by himself. Nope. And he was on crutches and everything. Like, yeah. if you see his leg, his thigh, yeah. it was his left, left, he left, he, leg. left, left thigh, yeah. inner thigh. It was so red and yeah. swollen. It was yeah. crazy. But yeah. I give the guy... And, and that happened with the broken knee. Yeah. The guy kicked him with the broken knee. <laughs> oh, and he was doing great damage right from the get-go. Yeah. It yeah. was like, when he hit, you were like, ooh. It was, it was loud. It was, it was real loud. Yeah. Like, Jones escaped with... with he escaped with mm -hmm. his belt that night. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did. Now, speaking of damage, okay... Do you think that social media is doing damage with this stupid hashtag not my Disney because of the black girl that singer uh, Holly Holly Bailey who has been casted in the live action um, release of the Little Mermaid but she's black and she's gonna be the Little Mermaid and people are like not my Disney but okay so it's the first I've heard of this oh I thought you knew yeah yeah but here's the thing most of Disney's stories are not from Disney anyway. Okay. They they take like known or common commonly known stories, uh uh, uh fairy tales mm -hmm. and they animate them. Fair. Basically. They Fair. create them in their in their image. Mm -hmm. So if they're able to take something that wasn't original to them and um recreate them, mm -hmm. that means they can do it again and recreate them again. Yeah. You know, like not my Disney, yeah, not your Disney, but the the world has changed since yeah, your absolutely. since your Disney. You absolutely, know? absolutely. I the, man, when I hear that stuff, all I feel like saying is shut the hell up forever. Here's why. When you watch movies, it, it all started like Elizabeth Taylor, like the whitest woman with blue eyes as Cleopatra. Get get out of here. Yeah. Christian Bale as it, it, as a god in Egypt. It, yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Tom Cruise as a samurai. But here, Come, like, like seriously, yeah. In Matt Damon too. Uh, have you seen the movie, um, uh, The Great Wall? 
My, the, oh, I remember the trailer. The trailer. I, 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 saw, I didn't watch it. I saw him as a samurai. I was like, okay, no, are you, no, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So Keanu Reeves, I, I, I'd watch it. Keanu Reeves <laughs> is like ethnically ambiguous. Like yeah. we don't know what he is. Um, you no, know, man. Like, I think it's 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 important to have an open mind because yeah, you, you don't know what you're gonna experience. Absolutely. And um, but at the same time, when the original the first x-men movies came out mm-hmm. and i saw wolverine as G- gene hackman dude hugh hugh jackman, hugh, hugh jackman. Like, gene, gene hackman's an old yeah, man <laughs> dude is blind too yeah. but um he was like six something yeah young guy yeah. you know like it just didn't make sense to me I'm, yeah. I, it wasn't believable the casting was bad yeah yeah like i was like but wolverine is like this short old man with yeah. a temper yeah. this dude is jolly yeah. you know <laughs> so i had a i had a hard time being convinced of of, of the role now so this is going to go a little bit of a side note but they're going to be redoing all those x-men movies if i if i've heard correctly because the studios have changed and all that stuff so my sister my sisters and i were talking we were saying who are they going to cast Hmm. As a new as a new Wolverine, like they need to get a short, stocky, angry guy. The best Wolverine is the guy that played Rorschach and um, Ma- uh, Watchmen. Watchmen? I don't remember him. He also played the new Freddy Krueger. I don't uh, remember his face. Oh man! Oh, he's face. he's awesome. Okay. He's uh, he has this gritty ass voice. Yeah. He's short. He's he has okay dope. Oh man! Like, as soon as I saw uh, Watchmen, I'm like, this guy should be uh, Wolverine. Wolverine. But... Nice. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Klondike bars. <laughs> um, but um, okay, that's cool. So, but I don't. I really don't see the issue with people. Well, I don't see what people have an issue with with regards to, you know, the Little Mermaid being black. Who cares? Yeah. And you know, it's funny. People were saying, "Yo, it's it's an animated movie. People need to chill." James Earl Jones was Mufasa, but his son was Jonathan Taylor Thomas from Home Improvement, <laughs> who was a little white kid. So yeah. everybody needs to relax. And and the uh, the Lion King, uh, Simba is uh, uh, Daniel Glo- uh, Glover. Mm-hmm. He's like the voice. Right. Donald Glover. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yo, I'm <laughs> getting all these people's names mixed up, but uh, it's just childish game, you know. Yeah, Charles Gambino. There you go. Um, who may retire from the rap game soon? You think he'll retire and just come back as a different name? Why not? Mm-hmm. It's, it's such an artist thing to do. Why not? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Um, yeah, man. Like there's there's so there's so many people who are playing roles they shouldn't play, mm-hmm. right? And y- you had your Disney. Mm-hmm. It's time for someone else to have theirs. Yep. One of the best movies that came out. In the last year, year and a half, mm-hmm. was uh, Enter the Spider Verse, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and Spider Man mm-hmm. was Miles Morales. Mm-hmm. You know this Latino slash black kid. Mm-hmm. That movie was awesome. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't seen any. I haven't spoken to anyone who saw it that didn't like it. Mm-hmm. That, that didn't like. It was one of the best Spider Man movies I've seen. Yeah, and there's a lot than of freaking them. Tobey Maguire. <laughs> Go but, ride Sea Biscuit, you. But goof. <laughs> it was good because we never expected it. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. who's your favorite Spider-Man besides Miles Morales? Like, uh, like actor. I really like Tom Holland. Mm. And the new, the new kid. He's pretty darn good, man. I like the Garfield guy. James Garfield, is that his name? I think so. I don't remember his name. Like that, those movies were really good. But it, but I like this Tom Holland kid because when I think of Peter Parker, like he's a kid. You know what I mean? And this guy pl- like looks more kiddish than because that other guy could have been like 007 and people wouldn't have been really upset. I was, you know, why I can't, I can't like those uh, home, uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming and Far From Home. Mm-hmm. It's because they downplay him as Tony Stark's like. Like discarded nephew or whatever. Mm. Like I don't like that. Like I think he's one of the strongest person in the Avengers universe, mm-hmm. and they make him seem like he's he he's a second class. You know mm. that I I, don't, I didn't like. I didn't like how they they downplay um, his powers, who he is, and his uh, even his maturity to mm-hmm. to Tony Stark. 
but I'm I'm naturally a Tony Stark's hater, so I I don't like the link. So remember when, um, what's it called? You they would say if you watch a Disney movie, you could see like a sexual message, blah blah blah. blah. Now I remember from the Little Mermaid, since we're talking about it right now, and there was a remake that they're making a remake. If you look at the priest that's marrying the Little Mermaid and the guy, you can see he has a boner. Yeah, it's weird. Like you, you, you legit see it. I've like I've seen. It. I was like, why does he have a boner? That's really bizarre. So it makes tell it tells you these people at Disney like they're all freaks. Excuse me, but in in correlating that to what we're talking about, I started thinking about these ridiculous like Cialis and Viagra commercials. So I wanted to know like what what your thoughts were on like dick pills because we've talked about you know getting clipped like in terms of vasectomies. We've talked about you know, women being pregnant, all that stuff. But we never talked about dick pills, really. So, have you ever taken a dick pill? I have never. Why? Don't need it. And I, have like, thank God, you know, haven't needed to use one and haven't really experimented with one either. Because some people take them just because, not even because they need it. They just take it to experiment with. Um, but I haven't, I've, n- I've never, I've never... So, so if things start, you know, slowing down, mm-hmm. would you? Now that's the question, right? Because is that like God telling you, like, yo, you used up all your fucks? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is that is that part of it? I mean, it could, unless like if it's a like a medical thing, like I don't know. Because if you took if you took too many dick pills, wouldn't it like kill you? Right? Yeah, like maybe. You should look into like your diet. That's what your I'm saying. Exercise routine. There's other factors. Yeah, yeah. So, but I like seriously. Like that's so basically that's either God telling you, yo, you've used up enough fucks, or it's saying, yo, you need to change something. Yeah. And until you change something, I'm not gonna let your dick work. <laughs> so, so, yo, somebody electrocuted you, man. You look <laughs> like that. <laughs> that was that was my my darling wife. Uh, so that's it, man. That's yeah, it. I don't know, man. I think if if I come to that point, I might try it. And this is coming from someone that doesn't try sh- nothing. <laughs> but you never know. My only concern mm-hmm. is what if it works very well? It becomes a drug. It becomes like a, de- a dependency. You know. Sounds like an episode of Black Mirror. Yeah. It does. Yo, dude, uh, I'm going off subject, but did you see um, Striking Vi- Vipers? What's Striking Vipers? The first episode of the new I TV. haven't done, I haven't watched season five at all. I've watched, I've, I'm caught up in season four. I have to watch season five. I thought, I thought you did. You're the one who mentioned it to me. You said, uh, yeah, yeah, like m- a, a month or two ago, you mentioned... That there's a new... Um, um, yeah, I told you there's a new season, but, yeah. I, but I haven't watched it yet. But I thought you watched nope, it. Usually watched people it. are like, yeah, I nope. started watching a new season. Have nope. you checked it out? Nope. So I, I assume that you did. Nope. However, dude, don't watch it. That first one, Striking Vipers, mm-hmm. it's, it's like it will mess up your mind, especially as a dude. Really? It's crazy. Is that the one with the, the, the black guy? Falcon. Falcon, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I have to watch oh, it. Oh, man. Like, I saw it, and I wanted to unsee it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, I was like, this is really smart smart uh, writing. Mm-hmm. But, man, it was, like, it was gross. Anyways, it was, uh, speaking of I'm dick, it out. Dick, dick pills, man. Dick pills. <laughs> yeah. But now, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, like... That that's that's but seriously, like, what do how do people feel about dick pills? I would love to know. So, like, leave it in the comment section. But I would love to know what people think about dick pills. Is it is it more like, hey, I try it? Is it more like, yo, okay, God said my dick don't work, change something, or that's it? That's all I got. Like, what if what if it's what if your 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 spouse or your partner, like, you need that for that specific person. You know, um, what if, like, you're good with everybody else, mm-hmm. but that one is insatiable? Like, would you, it, would that be a pass? 
would that be a good reason to use a medical uh, situation? Are you talking hypothetics, seeing as, like, we're both married here? Like, you mean just hypothetically yeah, Hypothetically, man. I wouldn't want to be in a relationship where I have to take a drug in any way to be with someone. That's bad for business. That's like someone saying, like, yo, I, I can't be with someone who doesn't, like, sniff coke. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's that's my deal breaker. You have to be able to sniff coke with me. That's, yeah. that's well, weird. You have to be, you have to be able to sniff coke to, to hang. Yeah. Hang. Yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah. Because you smart. Yeah, but anyway, um, I don't know. I've never considered taking dick pills. Um, it's because, like, I'm the same guy that doesn't really like to drink or do... A, it's because you can't drink, though. Anyway. But um, what? That's not a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, but I can't drink because I don't drink. Fair. Right? Fair. You should get so, started on that, then. No, I don't. Why, why do I need to? Dude, Everybody's I... Everybody's doing it. I Come on, <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> like, I've always felt that, like, people drinking beer is, mm. it's like this big lie everybody is, Beer's disgusting. is a part of. Beer's disgusting. It's like, yeah, I drink beer. Whoa, let's, let's grab a, 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 a sixer or whatever. I think it's, it's, it's a lie. Like, I try drinking beer. It's like, what in the world is this nonsense? Yeah. It's just gross. Like you know how, how how often I get made fun of by drinking like one of those coolers, uh, coolers or coolers is delicious or yeah. daiquiri I or drink, I drink ciders, man. If I drink beer, everybody paying for it, <laughs> <laughs> straight up. <laughs> like I I could never get drunk off of beer because like one sip just makes me want to hurl. Like the yeah. the taste is so bad, it's just really bad. Uh, anyway, sure. like. Going back to to the situation, man, I don't I don't think I know anyone that's taken that I'm aware of mm-hmm. that's taken dick pills. Maybe you, I know some people st- have experimented with it. Hmm. May- yeah. I was gonna say maybe we were still very young. Yeah. Um, where it becomes a subject of conversation. I guess you know, but uh, yeah, but I'm not saying I would never do it. I wouldn't be opposed to it, but it's just right now. <laughs> Yeah. If there's no need, there's no need. Well, you got a lot of kids, son. I do. I do. Mm-hmm. 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 Hey, 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 mm-hmm. hey. So hey, hey. you definitely don't need to experiment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Next thing you know, take a dick pill and, like, pop one off from deep within that was still just hanging out. Yeah. Mess around. <laughs> Get, like, triplets and shit. No, 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 thank you. Yeah. You know what? I think the scary thing for me with dick pills, it's mm-hmm. like the idea of it being active long after you don't need to use it. Yeah. Then you can't go anywhere. You but, have to stay in. Why? <laughs> <laughs> why? Yo, I saw, I heard that in the stand-up once. The guy was like, yo, they say, oh, if, it, if you have an erection lasting more than six hours, call a doctor. He's like, screw that. I'm calling my friends. <laughs> Be like, yo, check this out. <laughs> Girlfriends, I hope. I would. I don't know. He didn't. I specify. don't want. He I didn't specify. I wouldn't. I think call, it was just a party trick. I wouldn't call my homies to come check out my dick. That just doesn't make sense. White dudes do that though. Hey, yeah, I said it. Yeah. Yo, it's like you can't you can't fall asleep around white dudes. They might like draw a dick on your face. It's the <laughs> same. It's the same thing. <laughs> It'd be like, yeah. dudes, yo, check out my boner. Okay, I've had it for seven hours. Like you should probably get that checked. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Well, man. white dudes do crazy shit, but also I love them though. It's some some of the crazy shit is just good. It's like, entertaining, yo. I went uh, snorkeling for the first time with some white dudes, and I'm so happy I did it. They say brother a lot. No, um, but it was it was so cool because. They like they're saying, "Oh, let's do it." I'm like, "No, no, no. I don't. I don't do that." Yeah. And they basically told me, "Yeah, you don't really have a choice." Mm-hmm. And then I went. It was great. You know, I went on top of. I, I, I climbed um, a mountain like thirteen thousand foot above um, sea level. Mm-hmm. When you when you get there, you can't. You can hardly breathe because yeah. there's no oh, oxygen. Yeah. And, uh, but man, t- being 
above the clouds mm -hmm. is something else. Yeah. Did I show you my pictures? I gotta show you this, Jet. Um, being above the clouds, there's, there's no feeling like it, man. Like, I, be, like, it just feels like you're on top of the world, yo. Uh, this is taken in Hawaii. Did I tell you I went to Hawaii? <laughs> I think you told me you went to Hawaii. Did you go to Hawaii? Uh, yeah, I think so. So look, this is a picture of me um, at the mountain above the. These. This is not water. This is cloud, son. I'm in the clouds. Mm -hmm. You know, my my bon je papa. I hope you don't have any nude pics in there. <laughs> so don't swipe. Ah! Don't swipe. <laughs> <laughs> don't swipe. Yeah. So this is me above the clouds in Maui. That's pretty Which dope. Is dope. Cool. And, and I and I climbed the the mountains in um, uh, in in Colorado too. That's cool. So I went all the way up in the in the in the, the Rockies. Rockies. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, dope, man. Where were we at? We were talking. I don't about... even know. <laughs> we were just talking about dick pills, and then we ended up in the clouds. Yeah. But that makes sense because a lot of dick pics end up in the cloud. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't it. remember last time. No, no. I was gonna say I don't remember oh, last time shit. I sent a. A dick pic, but that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Never sent a dick pic. Never yeah. sent a dick pic. No. Nope. No, man. Nope. Like, end up in the cloud. Not that I'll ever want to be a politician, but that's it for me. Dude, I... Okay. I got I got an S9 mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. and I gave my old uh, phone to my kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I deleted everything mm -hmm. that was there. Mm -hmm. And when I was going to Hawaii... My kids are like, oh, make sure you take pictures because we could see it on, on our phone because my accounts are linked. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, boy. Oh, so all the pictures I uh, I send out or I take mm -hmm. or that or I receive shows up on their phone, too. That's amazing. The, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not amazing, man. That's funny. And then um, what, what happened is... Um, what happened is I checked and made sure there wasn't any inappropriate pictures mm. in, in my folder. Mm. There wasn't, but I checked my texts. I was like, oh, fuck. and I'm, I'm hoping that they didn't go check texts. That's funny. Yeah. I was like, right. oh, this is not good, man. Oh, this man. is not good. That was joking. Anyway, anyway, on that note, because we're talking about dick pics and text messages and stuff that's a wrap for us so why is that uh cause shit's going sideways real quick we went from <laughs> freaking Disney to dick pics to freaking I don't want my kids to see my text messages yeah so that's that's when you know it's time to kinda yeah wrap it up no pun intended so um yeah that's it man it was nice to be back yeah man it's been a minute um and um hopefully we'll see each other soon Sure. take it from there yo yes sir and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel there is a button right there in the corner right there for you to subscribe and remember to check out the podcast and we're gonna send you guys segments on a regular basis and the podcast on a regular basis uh so stay tuned okay so yeah. because we got some stuff in the works i'm rob this is Nice. <laughs> I like that. And this is our uh, 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 our thoughts. Your thoughts. <laughs> A show where we talk about the things you want to talk about and the things you don't want to talk about, and apparently burp on mic. Yeah. So